hello, I am Jacob Hofer. I am David Hamlin. And this is Project 2 for Artificial Intelligence. So first in our driver, our app.java, um, what we do is uh, for our uh, test data, we made, we had 50 boards. We had uh, 10 of each board size, so uh, 5 by 5, 10 by 10, and so on, down to 25 by 25. And we had a, a inference based explorer and a reactive based explorer. And so for our test cases, we just ran through and stored the data for each explorer for all 50 boards. And then um, we kept track of these tests in our uh, document. And uh, for to showcase our explorers, we are just going to run um, one board um, of each for each explorer. If we go through and actually run it here, we can see on the output as the explorers go. And you can see they finished some of the earlier ones insanely fast, even. Wow, they finished all of them incredibly fast. Oh, my. Um, but you can see, so, for example, this one, he found the gold insanely fast. But we can see, as you look through, these are what he's already explored. And he's been able to figure out, you know, based off of, like, over here. This is a breeze, and so this must be a pit here. There's some stenches around here, so that's that has to be a wumpus and things like that. And uh, at the very end, we actually print out the whole board, and you can see there's the gold right down here, and that's actually where the explorer ended up. And he managed to find it incredibly quickly because that was pretty lucky. If we go and run it again, this time in debug mode, we can actually see a little bit of how the explorer actually goes in and does some of this. So I'll go into debug mode here, and I'll wait until he starts chewing along at the larger board size. And I'm going to pause the execution here and go into our knowledge world and add a breakpoint on this add fact. And when we continue, we're going to end here. And we can go and we can look at our actual debug area. This is for the knowledge base. Within there, we've got a whole bunch of different things. We have our non-universal facts, which is pretty much everything that we've actually told the uh, the knowledge base about. If we open it, it's quite a large array because there's a lot of information that can be told. And if we open up some of this, we can actually see that there's a lot of information, like there's not a breeze at 2-1, or there is not a wumpus at 2-2, and a lot of facts like that. And obviously you can see why there's so many facts because each one of these can have stuff like that in there. Uh, and the way that whenever you uh, tell, whenever the explorer tells the knowledge base a new fact, it then goes and takes that fact and basically compares it, resolves it against all of the other existing facts. So we kind of do resolution as we go to make it a little bit quicker so that when we have to essentially prove a theorem, that resolution step is more of just the second half of it, and it's much faster because then it just has to loop over and perform unification against just one fact at a time rather than trying to go down and search every single possible path to perform resolution on. And that increases the speed dramatically and makes it that we actually get a proper output. And then obviously as we go, we are still getting our nice good output and the things that we've been able to decipher like over here. There's a breeze, therefore there's a pit right there since all these other ones are empty. Similarly, over here we have a stench, over here is off, right here is empty, right here is empty, so this must be a wumpus. And we can actually see that it's also a dead wumpus uh, since the explorer decided to shoot the arrow to further confirm that that was a wumpus there and helps him to infer later if there's, you know, how many remaining alive wumpuses there are. Anyways, that is our project. Thank you for watching. Thank you.